If you toss and turn, wake up during the night, and pay the price the next day, your pillow could be to blame. The wrong one can not only keep you up, it can cause such problems as headaches and neck and back pain. It can, but there are so many pillows on the market, we wanted to know the ones worth trying, so why not do a pillow test? Channel 4's Nikki Kimbleton and our morning show team spent weeks trying five different kinds. They found one really stood out. Our morning show starts at 4.30 a.m. Melanie's the first one in the door, and it is no secret she struggles for sleep. To get more sleep, I had to go to bed earlier, so that's not what I'm, I'm not willing to do that. And she may not have to. Sleep experts say having the right so, pillow um, can help. If you're predisposed to having neck pain or shoulder pain and you pick the wrong pillow, it will worsen or exacerbate that pain. Dr. Mariah Luis is a sleep specialist at UF Health. She says picking the right pillow starts with your sleeping position. And here's how it breaks down. Side sleepers, you want a large, thick pillow that's firm to medium. Back sleepers, go for medium size with medium firmness. And stomach sleepers, you need very little support, so you should choose a soft, flat pillow. If you put your hand and you press down, and I'm not putting a lot of pressure, you could see that this really flattens out. Okay, so this is a soft pillow. Finding out your firmness level is the easy part. Picking what the pillow is made of is where it gets tricky. That's why over the course of six weeks, several morning anchors tried these pillows. One made of buckwheat that's supposed to be great for support, a foam pillow that should adjust to pressure points, a water pillow that lets you adjust firmness by adding water, a simple down pillow that's great for softness, and the my pillow that you've seen on TV. So did any of these make a big difference? Let's start with Melanie. She sleeps on her side. I think for me, the foam pillow was a good one. I liked it. It felt very natural and I kind of sunk into it. And then the my pillow. But Melanie says she's not sure it helped her get more rest. Richard, on the other hand, you found a pillow that you said changed everything. I get a better night's sleep. It is apparently very comfortable and it keeps her from snoring. So I love it. He's talking about the my pillow. Richard even let his wife Cindy try it. She's a side sleeper, and they liked it so much they bought one. Is there any pillow that you really just thought, no way, this is never going to work? There was one that you brought that had the cushioning and size of this. <laughs> I think I sent pictures of everything from an orange to an apple to my hand, saying that's not a pillow. It's a it's a it's a doily. <laughs> He'd be referring to the buckwheat pillow. It's supposed to provide good support, but this was the pillow that no one found comfortable, and that brings us to Crystal. This pillow, the buckwheat pillow, you can already hear why I don't like it. It's very noisy to lay on. I just couldn't get comfortable. I couldn't fall asleep, so that's the main reason why. Crystal, who is a stomach sleeper, says the other pillows were okay, but the ones she loved, yep. The my pillow. So I do admit at some point throughout the night I did have to rearrange it and refluff it, you know, because it did lose its shape a little bit. But compared to what I usually use that night, that helped a lot. <laughs> and finally, Jen's review. So Jen, you sleep on your back. Yes. Any of these pillows that you tried, were they life changing that you're gonna toss your current pillow and use this instead? There was one that I loved. Yes, Jen also thought the my pillow made a big difference. So in the end, Richard, Jen, and Crystal, who all have different sleeping positions, picked the my pillow. Side sleeper Melanie preferred the foam. And as for the water, buckwheat, and down pillows, they were not a hit with anyone. Nikki Kimbleton, Channel 4, the local station. Well, at least they're all getting some rest now. <laughs> One more important thing. If you have allergies, Dr. Lewis says there are three types of pillows allergy sufferers should avoid. We have them inside this story on the homepage of newsforjax.com. The news at 530 is coming up next.